On the 24th of November 2021, during a prophetic service at Divine Kingdom Baptist Ministries, the servant of God, Dr. Ian Lobo, gave a prophetic warning about a terrorist attack in Kenya that may involve women. The following are his words. We just want to encourage our, our Kenyan brothers and sisters to continue to pray for uh, for security in their country. For security in their country. We don't want what happened in Uganda recently to take place in their country. The reason why I'm speaking like this is because there are people located in different places in Kenya who are tirelessly planning to pull off such attacks. So, as intercessors stand in the gap to pray, the Spirit of God says these people will be caught. Someone say, but why doesn't God just cause people to be caught without us praying? Because God has chosen that we as Christians, we must participate in the fulfillment of his purposes here on earth. What will be our purpose? The Bible says we are the salt of the earth. We are the light of the world. Salt and light, they make a difference in their environment. So, God has just ordained in that situation. That revelation of where these people are located and what they are planning, it will not come until Christians, they fast and pray. Hallelujah. So, I don't know, but I'm encouraging my Kenyan brothers and sisters to fast for a period of around five days from now onwards. Uh, maybe from tomorrow. Tomorrow is Thursday. To fast for a period of around one, five days. And because the message is urgent, that's why I'm saying let us fast so that our court in heaven will reveal his hand. What happened in Kenya in the past shouldn't repeat. These people should be caught. When we pray as intercessors, God will cause these people to be caught one by one. Because they are already there. And to make matters worse, there are also women who are involved in those plans. And it's not easy to catch women who are planning terrorism. It's easier to catch men because their behavior, sometimes it looks suspicious. But women, when they decide to participate in such things, it's not easy to catch them. But with the help of the Holy Spirit, the security forces are able to catch them. So, uh, we must fast. According to Directorate of Criminal Investigations, DCI of Kenya, a woman suspected to have links with the Al-Shabaab terror group was arrested last evening in Tindaret, Nandi County. This is after police officers based at Soko Police Station received a tip off from patriotic locals about a 22-year-old woman who was cohabiting with a man in Kamalambo village, but appeared suspicious. The villagers' fears were confirmed when during interrogation, after being arrested, the woman told detectives that she had been in Somalia for two years after allegedly being kidnapped by members of the Al-Shabaab terror network in Kilifi in 2019. She confessed to have been trained on weapon handling skills, hostage taking and use of explosives, among other skills. The woman is said to have attended the recently concluded KTF recruitment exercise at different centers. And because the message is urgent, that's why I'm saying let us fast so that our court in heaven will reveal his hand. What happened in Kenya in the past shouldn't repeat. These people should be caught. When we pray as intercessors, God will cause these people to be caught one by one. Because they are already there. And to make matters worse, there are also women who are involved in those plans. And it's not easy to catch women who are planning terrorism. It's easier to catch men because their behavior, sometimes it looks suspicious. 
But women, when they decide to participate in such things, it's not easy to catch them. But with the help of the Holy Spirit, the security forces are able to catch them. The servant of God, Dr. Ian Love, encourages saints and intercessors to continue to pray for the apprehension of all those involved in planning acts of terror in and around Kenya.